The much-anticipated brand new Nike Mercurial has finally been released after a two-year wait. I was so excited about these boots that I had to test them out as soon as I got them and could feel right away that these boots are truly top tier. This pack is called the Blueprint Pack and commemorates the 2024 Paris Olympics and Bill Bowerman, Nike's co-founder and a pioneer in innovative product development. It has been released before the official pack as a kind of limited edition. The white base and the blue swoosh logo look great together and the unique insole has the bones of a foot printed on it. The upper consists of two different knitted uppers. First the Grim Knit which Nike has been pushing lately and Adam Knit which is usually used in running shoes. The Grim Knit covers the area from the forefoot to the midfoot. It feels more grippy than the Grim Knit used in Phantom GX2 and it's much better than the Phantom Luna which barely felt like Grim Knit in the first place. It feels surprisingly similar to the previous Vapor 15 and the recently released F50 Plus since it is very flexible and comfortable from the very first wear. The Atom Knit covers the area from the midfoot to the heel and is supposed to be lighter and more durable than the Fly Knit. When I pressed on the Atom Knit, it felt more rigid and powerful than the Grip Knit on the toe box. The heel cushioning is made of a soft microfiber material and covers a wide area. Additionally, the old mesh internal lining has been changed and is now made up of three different materials that are smooth and provide no cushioning. Like the previous generation, I was most excited about the Zoom Air but was a little worried when I found out that the flex grooves from the previous model had been changed to a flatter design. However, when I tried running while wearing the old and new model at the same time, I quickly realized that the flex grooves of the previous model actually interfered with the consistent cushioning. The new Vapor 16 provides a consistent and bouncy cushioning that makes it feel like there are no studs under the feet. US size 8.5 or 200 65 millimeter weighs 178.8 grams which is 1 gram heavier than the Vapor 15 and 6 grams heavier than the F50 Elite LL. The outsole has a total of 10 studs whose shape has been changed from the TriStar studs to Chevron studs. Additionally there are these 8 little fins in the middle of the sole which help me with the traction and with propelling myself forward. The studs in the front are 0.8 to 1.2 centimeters while the ones in the back are 1.5 centimeter long. And although Though they're not super long, they're still too aggressive for me to recommend them for AG field. And actually it felt like the boots were gripping the turf too much when I tried to make quick stops and turns on artificial grass. The fit of these boots is so comfortable that when I tried them on the first time, I felt like I was just wearing a second pair of thin, tight, and elastic socks over my usual football socks. And just like all the other mercurials, the boot wraps snugly around my entire foot so that there is not a single part that pokes my feet or feels too big. I've always been impressed by the comfort of Mercurials and this Mercurial Vapor 16 even goes beyond the previous generations and provides the most comfortable fit of any Mercurial I've ever worn. The recently released Adidas F50 also offers similar comfort but the shape of the Adidas is too long and it doesn't hold the instep or heel well enough while the Mercurial makes it feel like my foot and boot are one unit. So when it comes to the fit, Mercurial has the upper hand. This time I actually wanted to go with the super fly instead of the vapor but I felt like the high color fly knit was too restrictive for me when I tried it out so I decided to stick with the vapor once more. I wore vapor 16 as my usual size US 8.5 or 265 millimeter and even just looking at it you can tell that the forefoot is slimmer than the previous model. Also the forefoot curves inwards so that the ball of the foot and the little toe feel quite tight at first. However the boots quickly adjusted to my feet after wearing them for an hour and the initial discomfort had improved a lot but unfortunately it is still not a boot for those with wide feet because of this tight toe box. The length is perfect for me as there is about quarter to half of my thumb left in the front and it is the same as the previous model. The knit on the instep has holes in it to make it more flexible so that even people with high insteps can wear them. Vapor 16 have a similar stretching ability as the previous Vapor 15 so I recommend going the same size as your usual Nike football boots. I was also curious about the kicking sensation, so I tried shooting a few times. The boots hug my whole foot like as if they were custom made football boots, and this made it easy to find the sweet spot, and I felt like the ball was going where I wanted it to go. And ever since the Vapor 15 was released two years ago, it has been my favorite football boot, and I was doubtful if Nike could ever surpass it. But somehow the new Vapor 16 managed to be even better 
better than the previous generation. So as long as your feet are not too wide, I highly recommend everyone to try out this new Mercurial Vapor 16 and I cannot wait for the release of the AG model. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more football boot reviews to come.